and welcome to yet another edition of the Full Force News Burst brought to you by Generals Joe's Reborn.com with me as your host, Chris, reducing production since 1980, McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. Joining me today to talk about Hasbro and their steady shift away from toy production in China is Justin Tariff Spell. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this news burst. And he's making me pay a lot of tariffs to use him. Absolutely. <laughs> A few days ago, Brian Goldner appeared on Mad Money to discuss Hasbro's financial position to big up the company's recent return to form after the devastating period caused by the Toys R Us bankruptcy, and to go into more detail around their decision to reduce toy production in China and keep it under 50% by next year. China currently produces 67% of Hasbro's product, and with the recent trade war between the US and China, it makes sense that they would try to shift their manufacturing elsewhere. Goldner stated that, we're increasingly spreading our footprint and adding new geographies for production globally. That includes new production in India and Vietnam. Hasbro, it seems, are trying to be proactive in this regard as they want to avoid the huge tariffs and don't want to get into a similar financial situation they found themselves in after the Toys R Us debacle. Justin, what are your thoughts on this story and do you think it's a wise move by Hasbro in the long run? Um, financially, it probably makes sense. I mean, yeah, if there's all sorts of tariffs and crazy things going on with China, then yeah, it certainly... I can see why they're targeting other regions, but you know I don't think it's necessarily gonna be you know bringing stuff back to the to the United States yeah. or anything like that. I think they're just moving from probably one Asian nation to another. It's about finding the cheapest way of doing it possible, isn't it? I think at the end of the day, it, you know, I, I would hate to I hate to say that, but it pretty much is. Yeah, I mean the cheapest the cheapest way that maintains at least some semblance of quality, I guess. I mean, you know, obviously each each toy that they have manufactured overseas has to go through a pretty rigorous QC process yeah. before it gets, um, you know, allowed for production. So um, by that, they are kind of forced into a level of, of uh, quality that they may not otherwise be. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically finding that right balance between cheap labor and quality labor and being able to, to walk that fine line i suppose it's never going to be in the u.s fully is it because of the the fact that obviously you know factories in the u.s uh held probably to higher standards the the workers have to be paid higher wages so it's kind of a really nasty moral position to be in but i suppose yep. from a business perspective they have to do it don't they yeah i mean i i'd like to say that that absolutely they should be able to to take production back with the united states give you know americans lots of jobs and things like that but i mean you're right it's just it's the cost of doing business and there's just the i don't know if it's you know different safety measures if it's the fact that you know it might it be union based or or any one of those things that you know prevents them from bringing that fully domestic and you know i don't want to get into the political stuff really here but i mean there's there's a wealth of reasons why they're probably not able to do that even though that's probably what everybody would like i mean i'm sure it would make you know coordination and communication and all that stuff a lot simpler for hasbro if they could do everything domestically but... distribution as well my goodness yeah, how easy would exactly. it be if they could if they could work out the i don't know the magic I don't know. There's 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 a lot of things in this because even I mean the numbers we talk about when even when we're talking about some of these Asian countries factories, the pricing yep. is huge when you're talking tooling. Like at Hasbro yeah. are not going to be going for the cheapest option. They're going to be exactly. going for probably one of the most one of the higher end options. And those factories have numerous different you know companies they're working with or whatever. They've got a lot of stuff going all the time. But not just that. But it's like. The, the tooling costs for like a low level factory are in the you know high tens of thousands yeah and then you're talking with hasbro it's probably more it's probably closer to the you know almost into the hundreds of thousands for the I stuff that they're so, doing yeah. so i mean you know that alone is is just mind-blowing to me it's yeah it's pretty insane yeah especially when you get the, the end scale of scale they're dealing with <laughs> especially yeah. what you get at the end of it i mean yeah you get nice products but you know you're talking about a bit of plastic you know wrapped up in a in a bottle <laughs> it's kind of crazy it is in any case also a uh, little side note justin uh tell us all about generals re generals joe's reborn now you've had to rebrand recently haven't you yeah as folks have likely noticed general joe's has been kind of stagnant for several months now and and there's a few different reasons for that i mean number one 
I will admit, you know, into the end of last year, you know, my, my focus and priority had shifted a little bit and there wasn't a whole lot of new G.I. Joe product coming out. And I was, you know, getting my feet wet as an independent author and doing a bunch of that stuff and priorities have kind of shifted elsewhere. Um, but recently in the past, you know, a few months, especially as, as anybody who's listening to the podcast can tell, I'm obviously still very interested in the brand and, and really like writing about it. And, um, and so, you know, I finally, earlier this year decided, well, you know, let's, let's revisit things again. And I had started to, to put some content up and quickly found out that I couldn't put content <laughs> up. You know, I could write plenty of, of posts. I just couldn't upload any images or anything like that. And, and come to find because, out that that's because extensive enterprises took over generals, Joe's.com and yo, Joe. Yeah, right? yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the previous owners of Yojo sold it to a new company who, um, promptly locked down FTP access for anybody who doesn't know FTP is what kind of allows you to upload and download files to, um, to the server. And, you know, I could do posts because it's all based on WordPress. So I could actually go in and write posts without actually copying files anywhere. But then once I started to upload a picture anywhere, it wouldn't let me. And then I also could not log in through an FTP server and download any of my content. So it's been kind of stuck in limbo there. Wow. And I've tried a number of different, you know, WordPress plugins and different things like that to try to grab some of that stuff and cobbled together a sort of, you know, kludgy kind of workaround that really wasn't working all that well. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to, you know, there's some stuff happening recently that I really want to talk about, you know, like this, this mobile game and the new IDW comic and the upcoming Snake Eyes movie. I'm just going to kind of start fresh and i'll have a link to the old generalsjoes.com on the homepage, so anybody can pop back and check out old reviews and stuff like that but meanwhile i'm going to start fresh so i can at least talk about some of this stuff and put up some posts when um the stuff is i, I stumble across stuff that's interesting to me and I, you know i can't promise it's going to be as 100 percent up to date you know latest and greatest news seven posts a day like it used to be back in the good old days just i've got a lot of other stuff going on right now and don't have as much time as i used to yeah you know you you can uh, you can bet that there will be you know content kind of trickling out there more regularly than it was so i'm pretty excited about that and plus we've got you've got the news bursts as well so it's, it's exactly not- <laughs> It's not as if we're not talking about this all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so obviously the show will now be brought to to you by Generals Joe's Reborn dot com, and we'll be yeah, I, hammering I, that home. I, I didn't even run that by you before I uh, before I made this change. Before you There's... rebranded, and I have to change two images now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I have to Photoshop another image, Justin. <laughs> oh. No, it's hilarious. It's great, and I'm I'm just glad that Generals Joe's is uh, you know kind of getting back into it. And yeah, and now it can we can be a legitimate um, universe again. Yeah, and it, it feels really good. I mean, you know, I, I I was joking about it on Facebook earlier, but I posted, you know, that you know I was bringing it back, and you know, 15 minutes later, my server was crashed by everybody <laughs> coming to the site. I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> but um, it ended up straightening itself out, which was good. But um, but yeah, I mean, it, I've gotten a lot of nice words over the past, you know, eight or ten hours. It's felt really good, kind of getting um, getting some people. You know, responding favorably and seem to be as excited as i am so very cool awesome um okay well uh, yeah that kind of brings us to the end of this one uh, we just wanted a quick run like basically just to kind of just to, the fact we discussed the hasbro news really more than anything else uh, and also uh, to kind of talk about general joe's reborn a little bit there as well so justin thank you for jumping on and chatting with me for sure. that little story <laughs> No problem. My pleasure. Oh, man, I wish my words would come out easier. Uh, That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my awesome co-host, Justin Bell, from GeneralsJoesReborn.com. I'm really pushing it now. See you next time, and as always, full (laughs) GeneralsJoesReborn.com. Just rolls right off the (laughs) tongue. Into the toilet. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force 
Cobra is taking over this month with Cobra Convergence 4. The entire month of July will be turned blue thanks to hooded Cobra Commander 788 and a plethora of G.I. Joe related YouTubers, podcasters and much, much more. So make sure you check them out over the 31 days of July. All hail Mighty Cobra.